Magnet television. Magnet television. Magnet television. You're watching Magnet television because what else are you going to do? Hi, I'm Matt from Mount Joy, and this pup says she would not stop barking uh, unless I held her for this interview. So, happy quarantine. I think my all time favorite song, obviously, is a, is a hard question, but the first one that comes to mind, just in terms of like impact on me as a songwriter, is probably. Um, Mr. Tambourine Man. I just remember really like in high school and even before that, like listening to that song and really breaking down the lyrics and like specifically like to dance beneath the diamond sky with one hand waving free, silhouetted by the sea. I just remember being like, oh, songwriting can be this really like beautiful picturesque thing. And I'm, I've always been really inspired by that song. Um, I think Blue by Joni Mitchell uh, is probably the first album that comes to mind in terms of um, my mom used to have that um, on CD in her car um, growing up and just remember being super attached to those songs and just the obviously the, the skill of Joni Mitchell as a songwriter and a singer and just the presence and just I don't know, those songs just all have so much weight to them. Good, heavy, um, uplifting. It kind of has everything in an album. Um, and I, for me, I think it's one of the greatest albums ever made. The best concert I ever attended was probably still, I got to see when I was younger, I got to see Bruce Springsteen. Um, and I, I don't know, maybe that's not the best, but that one's very memorable. Just a really amazing show. Um, and then we've been lucky. We played some really amazing shows. I would say the most one that, that jumps to my memory the most is, you know, being from Philadelphia, uh, we played the Fillmore, um, headline the Fillmore, um, on our own and just walking onto the stage and seeing thousands of people, um, cheering in our hometown, I think was a pretty special, special night for us. But there have been a few we've been really lucky. Um, this one is kind of, I don't know if it was embarrassing. Uh, I guess it was. We were very early on, we played a festival in Canada. It was a lot of fun. Um, but basically the way that they had it was they had these like, I guess kind of like songwriter conference type things uh, where you would go on stage and kind of workshop through your own songs with a couple other bands. And we thought that's what we were doing when they added a show to our, uh, you know, to our weekend. And it was at 9 a.m. on a Sunday. We had played the previous night um, at the festival. And, you know, so we showed up super early for us, obviously. Um, got there at like 8 a.m. to load in and we're in this tent, um, and it turns out that we're actually playing like a worship thing. Um, it was like a Sunday worship thing, which is great, except that like, I think at the time the festival organizers didn't really think too hard about our, um, our song and like what actually the words are in it, but they just heard that we had a song like Jesus drives an Astro Band. And so they wanted us, thought we were like a Christian band and that we would play this like worship thing. And, you know, the other artists on the stage, like some of them were gospel and, ha and were singing, you know, like gospel tunes. But we, we just like have these goofy song about Jesus where he like smokes pot and it's like definitely sort of a sacrilegious song. But we kind of looked at each other and it was like our turn to play and we we're like, well, what the heck else are we going to do? So. We played a song about Jesus smoking pot to a church um, of people, and it was fairly well received, but very embarrassing. This is Matt from Mount Joy, and you're watching Magnet Television with Seichi, who was quiet the whole time. So thank you, Seichi.
Sine.